What I'm excited about is that mentalist and illusionist Wayne Hoffman is here. He resides in Hollywood, California. He just wrapped up a bunch of performances here in Toronto. He's hanging with us before he flies back. How you doing? Good morning. I'm great. How are you? <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually like super excited that you're in. I love this type of thing. I love mentalists. I love illusionists. Yes. I think that it's just fascinating to me. I'm not one of those skeptic people. I'm one of those people that just revel in the in the in the awesomeness of it. How about you, Mora? <laughs> I'm I'm totally the same. And I wonder. I have a question. Like, when did you know that you had this gift? Did you always know, or did you learn it? Yeah, well, everything that I do is is a learned ability. Uh, you know, when you when you tell people that you can read minds and predict things that they'll do, you know, it sounds like it's psychic, but it's really not. Everything that I do is based on human behavior, psychology, uh, you know, biochemistry, statistics, body language reading, stuff like that. So basically, you can train to become a mind reader. Wow. wow. <laughs> so when did you first become interested in that? Were you young? Uh, kind of origi stuff? Yeah, originally I, I got into magic as a kid because, okay. you know, I didn't understand what neurolinguistic programming was when I was eight years old. So I got into magic and then later, once I went to a university, I studied psychology and that's when I kind of combined the two. I was like, how can I use psychology for entertainment? Okay. And that's where I am right now. So we're going to give you guys an opportunity to have Wayne peek into your brains at 416-872-9999. That in like just a couple of minutes. So you can call now if you want to get in the lineup for that but first we got to meet you literally like five minutes ago yep. yeah yeah and you, Good morning. you spent <laughs> nice a little to meet you. you spent a little bit of time with us it's very nice to meet you too yeah um now you did some stuff with me you gave me a book and you wanted me to look through it do you want to tell me what was going on with yeah you? basically i said uh take a book open it up to any page that you want memorize any word that you want and think of it okay so did, did you have a word in your mind i do have a word okay. in my mind now here this is important for those listening did you show anyone or did you tell anyone did you write it down i wrote it down but oh, i haven't did. shown anybody okay and gotcha. I, I wrote it down and you know why i wrote it down because i tend to forget things yeah. very quickly. Oh, okay okay everybody okay. knows that about me i'm really now, bad now, with short term memory. that's fine that's fine now in in other words what i want to point out is is there any way that anybody in the world knows this word but you. There is no way. Okay, excellent. Because I have not shown anybody, only I know this word, and I have been thinking about it over and over again in my head. Okay. And I pulled it at random out of a book that you have. Right. You, that book was a paperback. It was probably two, 300 pages. Yeah, so I don't know how many words would be in there. But anyway, whatever is in your mind right now, I just want you to think of it. I am thinking of it right, right now. here we go. Concentrate on it. Doritos. <laughs> uh, sorry. You you know, sorry. Now, if she was right, <laughs> you would you would crap your pants. Over I that. would. I would. I would. I totally would. <laughs> and and you know what? Quite frankly, so would I. <laughs> um, concentrate on whatever it is. Just look at yep, me for a yep, second. Yep, yep. Now, right away, here's a weird question because I get the vibe. Did you almost think of a different word? There was another word on the yeah, page. I know. I almost went with that one. I know. And, and then you said, make sure it's a long word. Yeah. So it's so it's, it's so that it's distinctive. Okay. And I went back to the word. I wrote down the sentence that it's in. All right. Just and look the at word. Me. I've written down. <laughs> I'm getting two different words from you. I'm going to start. I, I'm getting two different like things. So I'll tell you what. So we can get to the good stuff. Just tell me the first letter of the word you actually ended on and chose. W. Okay, because I keep getting the the letters W-E-I out of your mind. Oh now, just, just keep -E -I. thinking. Just think. W-E-I. Now, I'm writing this down on a card, what I'm getting. Okay. Here we go. I'm getting... Yes or no? Are you thinking of the word? This is weird. A weird word. Are you thinking of the word weightlifter? Okay, hold on. You're freaking out right now. Mora, I wrote it down. There it is right there. What is it? I assume the I'm right. The sentence is, is being a weightlifter. weightlifter. The word is weightlifter. I wrote it down. <laughs> wow, wow. I wrote it down. <laughs> that is insane. Oh, my God. My heart just skipped a beat. I this I have that effect on women. This, I'm just going to say, this must go over really well at the bar. Uh, Wayne. You know what? I, I, I've retired my bar days, but, but I'll tell you what. I, it, it, was, it, it helps you meet people. Yeah, see, you know, see, if you even, can read minds, it, it does. But, even you know, people that are skeptical of, like, that's some sort of trick. How in the hell in a million years would you ever know a word like that at random you, from someone? From looking at your from, face. <laughs> from looking at me and I'll meeting me. I'll tell you the answer. It's, it's uh, having no social life like me. <laughs> okay. I'm really Studying. impressed. I'm, 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 I have goosebumps. You know what? Can let me, do me. Let me. Yeah. Do me a favor. I want you to. Mar I want you to imagine you leave here, right? You yeah. go out into this frigid, cold weather, mm -hmm. and you walk to, uh, like a convenience store, like a Seven Eleven type of store. Oh, okay? okay. You walk in, 
and you buy some stuff. I'm writing something down again on the card. I'm going to make this as a prediction of something I believe you're going to say. Because I got something out of your mind earlier that's in your subconscious. <laughs> so I'm writing God. this down. Okay. Now, I, I, I'm going to lay it right here on the table, yep. right in front of you. You can't see it. I have it face down. I wrote something there. Now, all I want you to do is go into a 7-Eleven in your mind and grab some stuff, pay mm -hmm. for it in cash, and tell us out loud. Make up how much change did you get back from whatever you purchased? 65 cents. Now, you could have said anything up to a million dollars, right? Here, I love the conviction in your voice. Pick it up cents. and read what it says. You will say 65 cents. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. this, oh, no. this is this is too cool. <laughs> this is too cool to just be doing ourselves. Because I know what you're thinking. You're listening right now and you're like, they knew what was going on ahead of time. They made all of that up. Yeah. They're all acting. They're there for him. No. You call 416-872-9999 no. right now. An illusionist and mentalist, Wayne, will read your mind. Get inside your brain. <laughs> Back with illusionist Wayne Hoffman who's here from, from Hollywood. I watched a ton of your videos in uh, anticipation of you coming in, and you do stuff in the videos that I think in a million years people would never be able to be intuitively knowing, and it kind of almost frightens me just a little bit. Do people ever get the vibe from you that they're like, you ever get the vibe from them that they're afraid of you? You know, people are, anytime you say, I, know, I can figure out what you're thinking, yeah, people get kind of, uh, some people get a little freaked out, like, yeah. I, I don't want you to know what I'm thinking, and those are usually the people that have stuff to hide. Uh, I <laughs> couldn't imagine being your girlfriend because you'd be reading my mind and knowing what I'm really thinking all the time. Is it, is it, <laughs> but isn't that every woman's dream? To have a man who can True. act, because you hear it all the time, you know, women go, you know, they're, they're yelling about something and the guy goes, what do you think I am, honey, a mind reader? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I can never use that excuse. That's the hard, that's the hard part. That's okay, so, so let's, 416-872-9999 for the show live. She's been waiting, so we should get to her. Are you there, Jessica? I'm here. Jessica, you're here with Wayne. You're, this is going to blow your mind. Okay. Did you, did you hear what we were doing, how he guessed yeah. weightlifter? That freaked me right out. Yeah, I was calling the whole time. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> All right, uh, Jessica, let me get in your head and see if I can actually do this. It's hard to do it just with voice, but I'm going to try. Uh, okay. Are you driving or are you at home? Where are you? I'm in the car, but I am not driving. All right, here we go. I want you to think of a country, let's say, uh, I guess we'll keep it simple. Let's say, like, Western Europe, like Europe, like normal Europe, not like one of those normal countries Europe. that changes their name every 20 seconds like Czechoslovakia which I don't even think exists anymore but like Western Europe you know like a right. yeah okay and I want you to think of a country that you'd like to travel to one day or just any random country in Western Europe and I want you to let me know when you have one in mind okay I have one and you could make it weird it could be Liechtenstein Luxembourg you could pick any weird one but you have one All in right. mind I do okay think of the spelling of the country the letters in the spelling uh, and picture them alright you ready okay now, right away, I get the vibe somewhere in your word there's a letter A, like alpha. Is there a letter A? Yeah. I'm also getting a vibe on a letter N, like Nancy. Is there a letter N? <laughs> yeah. Keep thinking. I'm getting... Now, this one keeps flip-flopping. It's one of two letters in my mind. It goes back and forth. I... Is, it a letter... it's... Is it a letter D, like David, in there? No. Okay, then it's... I told you it keeps flip-flopping. I should have went for the other one. It's a letter R. No. No? All right, I'll tell you what. Do this. We're going to go for the whole thing all in one big shebang. Picture it okay. in your mind. You got it? Okay, I got it. Oh, no, it was the, the letter. It was the N at the end again. You're thinking of Spain, aren't you? Yes. There you go. Wow. 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 Thank you for oh calling in. God. Was that wild? Thank you. That was insane. Jessica, <laughs> we just, just, just tell people, we didn't set you up ahead of time. No, 100%. And you know what? I offer $1 million to anyone can, who can prove otherwise. I know this is hard to believe for people listening, but this is all completely on the up and up. So uh, thanks for calling, and, and, and thanks for letting me get in your head. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Drive safe. Thanks. Is it true that you have, like, uh, like an uh, an app as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. If you... Uh, if you just search Wayne Hoffman in your app store, it's a free app, and you can, uh, you know, take a look at. Uh, it has links to the Twitter, the Facebook, and all that. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 actually uh, my own app. I know it's weird. <laughs> right. Very cool. That's yeah. also you can also check out uh, at Wayne Hoffman on on Twitter. Is there anything else you want our listeners to know from your mind before we let you go from reading uh, our minds today? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, well, uh, 
if you guys want to, I actually wrote a book that's available on Amazon called Mind Candy. I'd I like to share that with people and let them know that exists. And then uh, people often ask me how, well, you know, how do I what how do I earn money? How do I use this? You yeah. know. So I actually travel all around the world. I've been to fifty eight different countries, and I uh, and I do shows for corporate events and theaters. So okay. uh, you know, just let people know that I do that and about the book Mind Candy. It teaches a four step process on how to ch achieve goals. So if you have a New Year's resolution, I do. I wonder if you can help me out with it right now. Can you yes. give me the music back again? Right there. Can you do a, a psychic thing with us, a mentalist thing with us, where we all concentrate? What I want to do is I want to get into the brains of everybody that listens to our show right now. <laughs> Every single person that's listening right now, so that every single person that they come in contact with today will then also then come and listen to our show. Yes, because yes. it's my goal in 2014 to build the biggest radio army in the world. Well, I will tell you and this. So we need your help with that. The easiest way to do okay is ask. So right now, on behalf of Mad Dog, I'm going to ask that if you're listening to this show, share the love. Ask three of your friends to tune in tomorrow morning. So there you go. There's the beginning of the army right feel there. It. I feel the so, army. Do you feel growing. it? I feel it. It's, it's it's going right now. And you know what? Somebody out there is gonna do it, and they're gonna feel good about it when they're finished. And no one will know, but people will do it. So, and by the way, more. I have a weird question. Yes. I'm getting a a word like a name out of the back of your mind right now, randomly. Mm hmm Do you know someone named Donald? <laughs> She's freaking out right now. Or don't urinate. Yes? What do you do? You're getting, your face is getting red. Well, <laughs> when Wayne came into the studio today, he asked me to write down somebody who's important to me on a piece of paper. And uh, I wrote my, my late father who passed away, and his oh name is Donald. Oh, my God. Wow. There you go. That's a great, that's, hey, dad is always number one, you know? How did you do that? <laughs> Donald! Donald, you wrote it, yeah. I wrote it down. There you go. Wow. Yeah, I just got that vibe out of nowhere. I don't know. I know. Your face is red. I know. I have to fan myself. Okay, now. you know what? Find out more from Wayne on Twitter. It's at Wayne Hoffman. It's, we yeah. Gotta go, we got to go talk to him the more, some more off the air because I'm having too much fun.